Dedicated to my sons, Caleb, Joseph, and Benjamin, Daddy loves you. Hi, it's me, Mia, and today I get to celebrate my birthday at Daddy's house. My big brother needs help getting up in the morning, so I help him because I really love my big brother. I love birthdays, don't you? My big brother needs help finishing his breakfast, so I help him because I really love my big brother. You know what I love most about birthdays? Having a birthday party! Today my party starts at 3 o'clock. I get to invite my friends from school, my cousins, and a very special guest, my mom. Hello my beautiful Torontoians, it's your girl Sasha aka Miss Damon underscore the plug. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Today I have my amazing authors with me here today. Let's introduce yourself guys. Hi everyone, so I'm Victoria Daly, the author of Mommy Lives Here and Daddy Lives There and Birthday Party at Daddy's House. And I'm Theo Williams, the author of I Love My Big Brother. Alright, so thank you guys so much for coming on my podcast. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Alright, so tell me a little bit about yourself. How you grew up or where you grew up. Okay, so, um, like I mentioned, um, my name's Victoria. I come from a big family. Um, I'm an aunt of 16, you could just say that. Um, what else? I'm an Aquarius. Shout out oh, all my Aquarius. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, so yeah, I come from a two, um, I guess a co-parent family. That's okay. my the story. Um, yeah, for the most part, I grew up in Mississauga. I went to high school in Mississauga. Oh. And what about you, yeah. Theo? Uh, so um, my name is Theo Williams. Uh, I grew up in Brampton. Uh, I'm a brother, a sister. <laughs> I'm a brother, a sister. Um, I'm an Aquarius as well. February what? 3rd. What? So much Aquarius. Um, wow. Alright, so what inspired you guys to write a children's book? Who, who wants to go first? Take Theo, go ahead. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, with the whole like writing a book thing, like, um, like years ago I used to work at the YMCA in Rexdale, mm. and uh, uh, a woman by the name of Zaya, like we were just talking in conversation whenever we, you know, I see her in passing or whatever, and then she just looked at me one day and was like, yeah, you should write a kid's book. Just like that? Just like that. Yeah. What? Just like psychic? that. You know what like, so, um, so that kind of put the seed in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. And then like fast forward to now, like so I was a 13 year old, a two year old, and a one year old. Oh, nice. So um, I took a year off work just to kick it with them or whatever. So I was just like, you know what? You know, because I have kids, so you read mad books to them or whatever. So I was like, yo, it'd be dope if I wrote a book that mm -hmm. they could see themselves in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how it initially started. And yeah, so it just like popped in my head. I was just like, yo, let me write a book for the kids so it could strengthen the bond that the kids already have. The big brother mm. could read to the, the two younger brothers and then you just do it, right? Like, so, so how was that year off? Because uh, <laughs> it, it, it was amazing. It, yeah? it was cool. Like uh, I went on vacation, oh, I traveled, okay. kicked it with the family. Let's hear from you, Victoria. Um, so um, my journey is a little different. Um, my story was birth. Um, from my daughter. Um, so I was in a relationship, it uh, ended, um, and my daughter had a lot of questions. Um, and at that age, she was what, three and a half, I believe? She had a lot of questions, and I didn't know how I was gonna, what I was gonna say to kind of make her understand. Um, so um, just, I guess, after using my community, so I believe in, you know, a community and village and all that stuff. So after leading on my village and just, um, I guess seeking insight on the situation. I've never been in like a co-parenting situation before, okay. <clears throat> sorry, or separation. So I had a lot of questions myself. Um, anyway, fast forward. Um, what I did was just kind of take the negative notation on co-parenting and make it into something positive. So I just explained Ooh. to her, "You're a lucky girl. You have two of everything. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much what's going on. Daddy lives here. Mommy lives there. But we love you anyway. That kind of thing. Um, so yeah, my story was birthed um, based on my own co-parenting experience." Um, and yeah, I decided to put it into a manuscript. 
um, not only to help my daughter, but to help the other um, children that may be experiencing or may not be experiencing the co-parenting relationship. And like Theo said, representation, representation matters, right? Sure. So it's important for them to see themselves in books. Yeah. And not only that, to see mom and dad as authors mm -hmm. is a big deal. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes Shows sure. them that they could do whatever they want to do. Exactly, them, so. exactly. Because me and myself growing up, I don't think there was a lot of African, Canadian, African American no. books that we could relate to, right? So you wrote two, is it two books that you Two wrote? books, so it is a series. Mm -hmm. So Mia's World uh, Book Club is a series. Mm -hmm. uh, my first book, like I said, is titled Mommy Lives Here, Daddy Lives There. Mm -hmm. That's when, um, obviously I was just explaining, um, hence the title, Mommy Lives Here, Daddy Lives There. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, regardless of the situation or the circumstances, Mommy and Daddy Love You Anyway. That's pretty much what the first mm -hmm. book is okay. about. Um, and then the second book, Birthday Party at Daddy's House, um, mm -hmm character Mia she's having a birthday party and she wants to invite a special guest and um, the special guest is taking kind of long to show up so obviously she's kind of nervous um, doesn't know if, if the special guest is mommy fast forward okay. um, mommy decides to show up and so yeah she's celebrating a birthday with mommy and daddy at daddy's house so that's a big deal okay, okay. so how long does it take to produce a book like from writing it illustration publishing like how long does it take um so because for me, I want to have like that real life experience, so I want my daughter to actually live out the experience before I just write about it. Okay. Um, so in this case, it took about, I would say maybe a year and a little bit. Oh, that's not bad. No. I met an illustrator, kind of just told her my vision. Mm -hmm. um, we worked really well. We hit it off like right from the beginning. Um, and yeah, it didn't take very long at all. Like How I said, did you meet? Like you just... Was it a grocery store? No. Um, <laughs> How did that happen? Just the internet is just a magical thing. That's true. Like, um, just network. Just, yeah. Yeah, just networking. I agree with that. And yeah. I just found it. Everything's yeah. like a click of a button, for sure. Huh. Okay, and yourself, how long did it take you to publish? Uh, to publish the book, it probably, I want to say maybe like two months, three months. Oh, that's yeah. not bad. You guys so, are go-getters, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like thinking like years, like it takes years no. to... Yeah, I'd say like two or three months, because... Um, Again, like I had it in the back of my head, and then um, whatever, I was kind of like, you know, looking around because I wanted it to look a certain way. Like in my head, I was like, yo, I want the drawing to look like this. I didn't want nothing, mm -hmm. nothing else, and I wasn't gonna, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I have a friend who's um, boyfriend, he's into illustrating. Oh, okay. And then, um, so he was kind of giving me an idea of prices or whatever, and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not paying for 10 pages at that amount, so I was like, no. Oh, okay. And then I was listening to an <laughs> episode, is, yo, it could, really? it could be super expensive. Yeah. So Fiverr is pretty much a platform where you can go there looking for different services, whether it be like, you know, oh, anything, yeah. anything, anything. So I went, I like a flea market. Yeah, pretty basically. much, you hear what I'm saying? Mm. What for people offering, offering services, so okay. I put in Illustrator, a kid's Illustrator, whatever, and then it popped up and I saw somebody with an ill drive, so I was like, yo, mm. I'm so gonna hire. Yeah. So I sent them the money or whatever. Yeah. And then when they gave me the picture, I was like, this though. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't this what you wanted? The same. Like, you know oh. what I'm saying? It's, like, it looked the same, but it looked too the same. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, somebody traced it. or Because it's like, I'm not an artist, but, yeah, like, but you I could draw them. Like, you know what I mean? But if I had to draw different scenes and moving around, that's different. Like, mm. You know what I mean? But I could trace, I could look and draw, right? So then, uh, then I started looking close at the picture that was on their profile. Because they have, like, different, like, um, works that they produce so you can be mm. like okay i like this you know, i don't like that or, you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i look and i look closer and then say the person's name was um bobby brown like you know what i mean when i looked at the the picture the initials were like a w so oh, it wasn't even their so picture it, like you know what oh, i mean man. so then i ended up hitting them up saying yeah i want my money back so they ran me my money back and then um i was on instagram one day and then one of my sister's friends posted a book that her friend put out mm. and i was like yo I like that artist. Yeah. So I was like, yo, reach out to her and see if I can, you know what I mean? If she can put me in contact with the artist. And then when she put me in contact with the artist, um, I hit her up or whatever through email or, no, nah, not even email. I hit her in her DM. I'm like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I want you to drop Rolls me. down in the DM. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I hit her up or whatever. Um, she didn't respond at first, but then when I reached out to my friend's, my sister's friend's friend, and then she hit her up, mm -hmm. then she hit me up right away. So, and, yeah. Yo, just their teamwork is hard. Because I think yeah, I messaged you first. first. Yeah. Who did I message first? You? I can't yeah, remember. Theo put me on the And right list. away, he's like, no, I have my girl too. Like, I want to bring her on the podcast. I'm like, hey, the more the merrier. Yeah, so that's, that's what about, right? We're exactly. Working together. Working together. Yeah. I love that. We move farther that way, right? Yeah. So we need to work, learn how to work together, not against each other. Yeah. No doubt. Because you know? even with um, the knowledge bookstore, like, I had questions how to get in the Knowledge Bookstore, what to do, whatever, whatever, but I didn't know any yet. So I hit her up, and then she wasn't, like, kind of, like, you know, 
start reading like rich dad poor dad you know taking in like i was saying you like, i have that book i just bought yeah it's book good it's really good it's really good like pretty much talking about how the rich the rich get have money working for them and the poor people work for money and then it kind of just breaks it down or whatever but it's yeah. it's a dope book. which gets richer and poor exactly so stagnant. but yeah so with covid it kind of helped me like i have my nine to five how can mm-hmm. i have a little side hustle the book idea came to you know fruition or whatever and then, yeah. and then with the covid as well like she was saying like the, the the like delivering it yeah like you know putting it together like because again like my book dropped like i want to say january 18th was the first time i said you know, this year come right? check it out like mm-hmm. this year right so so i did a pre-order and then you know it finally came in <laughs> but i was actually going to like canada post or whatever like you said it now that people hit you up like yo like is my book here yet like, oh, <laughs> like when is my book coming yeah it's crazy because it's like some people like i had a person in mississauga oh, that just got her book like literally like two days ago 
and I sent it out like I want to say like January 25th. Mm -hmm. Then you have somebody in like Wireton, mm -hmm. Ontario. Yeah, you have some people can't. in like the states. Like it, it was crazy. Like they it, it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they, they had mm -hmm. like a big uh, COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that might have to play. So I think it, there was that cause. Yeah, like, like, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. man. I was having to like circle the block before I pull up into my house. Like, you know, <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> and, like for me, even with the books coming in, I don't know for you if it took longer or whatever. Um. Yeah. Yes and no. Well, yeah. So like, it was going to, and then I just mm -hmm. went to like an alternate. Uh, group. So there's like okay. a printing company. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, the same thing happened to me. I was like, I yeah. ordered the book. And I was like, yo. Like, I just wanted it. Because, like, yeah. I'm not sure how she launched her book, but, like, the way you did it, but the way I did it was pre order, right? So oh, it's like, that's smart. So I did pre order for, like, yeah. you know what I mean? I had a general idea. So it's like, I'm getting people to buy a book I've never even seen one before. Like, it's not yeah. like my second or third or fourth book. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the first, like, so I was like, super nervous, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like, I did see the quality of the book because okay. the, the girl I was telling you about, Jamila, she put me on her printer and it was out in Bradford. So oh, I was like, never, like, you know what I mean? I was like, whatever. So I was at work and I had to tell the guy, yo, I'm leaving early. I'm yeah. going to fly down there. So then Bradford took me, I don't know, like an hour and a half. But I actually got to touch it. Yeah. I was like, okay, like, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, this how did you get to, um, how did you get to launch your book? So he just did it with confidence. Yeah, the pre, <laughs> um, <laughs> pre order. So COVID kind of messed me up in that sense. Um, so mm -hmm. my first book, I actually had a, a book launch, like a, a physical book launch, which was oh. great. So I um, had a book signing. People came, yeah. purchased books, had food, the whole nine. Um, it was great. Yeah, it was really, really good. Um, and I and I launched it on my birthday, nice, so it was kind of nice, like a birthday nice, celebration nice, for nice. myself. It was really good. Um, so this time around, I want to do the same thing. I want to launch it on my daughter's birthday, but obviously with COVID, I know. Um, yeah, it didn't that. really work out. So I just kind of um, on the, through Instagram. Yeah. yeah, that's how it is. Everything's virtual. Just kind yeah. of, yeah, virtual right now. I, I was in the same boat. Like I did it through Instagram as well. So okay. it's like. Um, Pretty much, I just posted it like before, like a while ago. Before all this, like I was thinking of getting into right. photography. So, mm -hmm. like my KJB books page was originally Click Seven Four Seven, like Seven Four Seven for my son again. So I just changed the name. So I knew I was going to be coming out with the books. So I was like, all right, KJB books for Caleb, Joseph, and Benjamin. Mm -hmm. So I was like, KJB books. So I changed it. Yeah. I chilled out for a little bit. Then, um, yeah. Which author would you like to work with in the future? I'd really like to uh, work with Theo, my fellow author, okay, like, okay. like yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And do you have a favorite author besides Theo? Besides Theo, <laughs> yeah, I do have a favorite author, actually. Uh, his name's Todd Parr. Uh, he writes children's books. He's a illustrator and an author. Um, yes. So he, um, I'm inspired by his, like, beautiful, colorful illustrations, hence um, the colorful and bright. All yeah. my books are kind of, like, fun. Um, and yeah. Okay, cool. So and, then, and yourself, Leo? So, um, favorite author. Um, when it comes to kids' books, I guess I would say, um, I guess Robert Munch. Oh, like, I love the, yeah. the paying attention to detail, and that's kind of what, again, outside of my son saying the Easter eggs or whatever, I just wanted a lot of things going on in the scene, whether it be, like, you know, my son shooting ball, and then the other one has the, the milk, or he's he's in his bedroom, and one's mm -hmm. reading the book upside down, one's on the laptop, one's, like, yeah. fussing around in the backpack. Yeah. So when it comes to kid stuff, like, I'd definitely say um, Robert Munch, you know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah, he had some really good stories, and then... Yeah. Out, then yeah, if we're keeping the kids, yeah, I'll say about yeah. Munch, yeah. But like I told you before, like the rich dad, poor dad, mm -hmm, that's yeah. definitely, definitely a good book, yeah. definitely a good book. And, and then authors I want to work with, come Victoria on, Daly. you know what I mean? Come on, <laughs> and, yeah. So yeah, we yeah. definitely, you know what I mean? Link up yeah. whatever and kind of come up with a concept where we can both, you know, Ooh. work together, whatever. You know what I mean? That's nice. Yeah. Um, do you guys think you would write any type, any other type of genres besides children books? So. um because my book is a series and I do plan on following uh, the character Mia in age, okay. um, as she gets older, obviously it'll stem from like a children's book to mm -hmm. maybe like a preteen and maybe a novel eventually yeah. or eventually maybe she'll start writing. So mm -hmm. yeah, to answer your question, um, yeah. Yeah, I like that, I like that idea. Yeah. It's cool. Um, I think I'm just going to stick to the, the kids genre for now, okay. like you know what I mean? Um, yeah, just because it's like, for me, I'm not writing because I'm a writer per se. Mm. I'm just writing based off experience. So okay. I'm kind of seeing what's going on in my house and I'm just kind of like speak on it. And it's, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, yeah so okay. I'm probably going to stick to the, the kid thing for now. But who knows? Like maybe you'll see me beside exactly. like, yeah. these other big time numbers. Okay. I want to get you guys to shout out your social media platforms and you can tell the viewers where they can go to purchase your books. So, who wants to go first? Yeah. 
Um, I'll go first, I guess. Yeah, so sure. um, you could find us on Instagram at at Mia's World Book Club. Also, check out our website at www.miasworldbookclub.ca. And uh, in terms of getting in contact with me, um, send me an email at mealsworldbookclub at hotmail.com. One, first and foremost, I want to shout out my wife's boutique. You know what I mean? It's Lil Beaumont Boutique, at Lil Beaumont Boutique for Instagram. And my wife's page or on Instagram is at Nisha's Notes. So those are the, you know, follow that first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Then if you get a little time, you know what I mean, go to KJB Books. You can check that out. Um, and there, all the information is there. So once you go to KJB Books, you know, hit me up on Instagram or whatever, DM. And yeah, you'll find all the information there. At Think Twice. Oh. Yeah, At Think Twice is an organization that deals with incarcerated youth and a few oh, uh, wow. communities that have been affected by gun violence. Mm -hmm. So check it out, At Think Twice. I just want to thank you guys so much for coming on. Mm. Um, I love what you guys are doing. Continue doing what you're doing because you have your kids looking up to you, right? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of my podcasts. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Miss Damon underscore the plug. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Definitely check them check them out, guys. Until next time, don't forget to stay prayed up. Oh